When most people eat food, not much thought is put into it. It's either good or it's bad. It either fills you up or it doesn't. But for Megan Fleenor, the discourse involved after a food outing has become a new activity for her and a journal of sorts. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm 19. I'm a social media influencer and I review burritos. Right now we are at Cali Tacos, one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in Santa Ana and the home of the infamous Angel Burrito. This is also where Megan will log her 30th burrito review this year in what she calls her burrito binder. The burrito binder is a compilation of burrito reviews that I've done over the course of the past several months from different burrito places. Megan's 30 reviews have featured a universal rating system and sections for open comments, where she often describes the experience in detail and includes memories involved in the burrito outing. So there are seven different categories rated on a one to five scale. Um, there's presentation, temperature, taste balance, sauce, texture, menu accuracy, and overall execution. All of these are rated one to five, added up for a total score out of 35, and then I will figure out a percentage based on that. Trough in Santa Margarita has the highly coveted number one spot in Megan's burrito reviews, and Cali Tacos performed quite well with a 34 out of 35 in her book. So what makes a burrito so special? For Megan, it's about everything coming together. It's every single ingredient that you love so much just wrapped into one singular unit and you can really just get every flavor and every bite that you take. While the food could be undoubtedly delicious, the motivation for the burrito binder and what's to come in the future goes far beyond what's on the plate. I got really passionate about reviewing burritos because I felt like that I was spending a lot of time by myself in my dorm room at college and I really wanted to just get out more and try new things. I felt that this was a good way for me to force myself to go new, to new places because every time I would go somewhere different to review a burrito. Despite an already impressive amount of reviews, the burrito binder isn't going away anytime soon. What may follow though is an expansion on the concept. So what do you think is the future for your burrito binder? Um, it honestly has a bit of a popular following amongst my friends and um, I think that this would be something that would be cool to put online as like a blog. Um, I might even try to do like a photo series too of pairing like maybe uh, doing some sort of interview with photos of you know maybe having dinner guests, um, that type of thing in the future. In the meantime, Megan will continue seeking out the best burrito in SoCal, binder in hand. I'm Noah Lyons reporting to you from Santa Ana.